We are live here on Myth Brigade on the internet, which is where Myth Brigade exists, primarily on Tuesdays. But also in our hearts. <laughs> in our hearts and minds. Well, oh my look, God. I'm wearing a Myth Brigade shirt. I forgot. I am too. Yeah. Um, I forgot to wear it. It's a micro mini shirt under here. Mine's dirty. Uh, you know, we, I we still live don't in your hearts me. and minds. <gasps> Lady Catherine doesn't have one yet. I don't have oh! one. Oh, <laughs> all right. What? Chantel, let's nice. talk. I got stuck. Yeah. Some stuff. Yeah. You let her go in a whole chaos game con season without a shirt. I'm yeah, a... that's yes, without a shirt, no shirts at chaos game con. You know how the beginning oh. of our games are mainly reminding me at how bad I am in my job. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even care. It's fine. So we're here. Byron, this is your show. This isn't about me and my inadequacies at all. No, it's let's, about me and my inadequacies. Let's talk about our sponsorship. You're average, Jason. It's okay. That's we right. can all be <laughs> I'm I'm reasonably adequate. Byron, please please talk. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Myth Brigade. Uh, burning the midnight oil, I guess, uh, per se, here, uh, later than usual. But we're here in all of our excitement, uh, and we've gotten most of our heck thing out of the way, I guess. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But anyway, uh, another episode of Follow London, uh, where we are pursuing this wonderful thing from Renegade Game Studios. And uh, it's been a fun time. I, I'm having some blast with the old uh, vampire, the masquerade. Uh, not just in this game, but you know, I run a game local too, and it's uh, it's pretty damn cool. Uh, I like the, the cast that we have. Got some new members a couple uh, times ago. We got Mr. Dan Kaplan, Max Romanoff, back in the house from his travels, uh, and we are happy to have him back in amongst the cast. And everybody's here today, so uh, you know, we're all battling, you know, anywhere from uh, mental illness to sickness to whatever, but we're or here. Or all the above in or some or cases. Or all <laughs> the above. Or mixes of the stuff, you know, <clears throat> whatever. So, but yeah, we're back uh, and, uh, you know, catching Dan up a little bit and, uh, or hopefully trying to, and we're going to have a blast. So uh, we're going to take the coterie into the deep, dark depths of London tonight Ooh. and see what happens. The... What happens when they can't return home in the same day? So we'll see. Anyway, uh, let's go around the horn oh, real quick. We? Yeah, right. Let's go to uh, Mr. Tyler Wingate. How are you, buddy? Doing good. Just woke up, so a little sleepy still. Yep. <laughs> accidentally, uh, accidentally fell asleep before the game. I got to tell you, wanna have some. I gotta fill you in on some great episode that happened on Sunday. Yeah, it was great. yeah, I was gonna say uh, I, I've been, I've been one. No. <laughs> yeah, uh, see me after class. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you'll be ecstatic, I promise. Uh, <laughs> you'll some be. erasers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, so hey, we're gonna be using Heinrich's Guide to Character Creation to make some Call of Cthulhu characters tomorrow. Nice uh, for. A, a local uh, starting of Horror on the Orient Express, uh, our buddy Sam, is going to uh, be uh, running are that. Not, are we not doing Warhammer? Oh, no. I'm sorry. No, no Warhammer tomorrow. Oh, well, okay. We, we kicked that. So that was Thursday, actually, that we're going to be doing that. Yeah. Mm. And then, uh, yeah, playing a first game of Warhammer the Old World on Friday. Got back into that. Getting uh, back into the old stuff. Yeah, started another uh, playing in a... Uh, Gonna teach you young bucks how to play Warhammer. Yes, kind of game on Saturday. But yeah, lots of gaming as always. Um, how is uh, the wonderful Tara Roy, Alice Machinale doing today? I am I am pretty good. Um, unlike Tyler, I intentionally fell asleep before the game today. Took a little <laughs> nap, dog on the lap. It was really nice. Also, I that, also took a nap. Excellent. Yeah. And, half of uh, us. Yeah, right. Why not? And uh, let's go to Lady Catherine, the wonderful Chantel Capusti. Hello. Let me tell you, I had a wonderful weekend. I was on duty. I had to work. And so I had to play games, <laughs> take nerds to a nerd store, play games and play games. You poor thing. Mm. It was it was a pretty rough weekend. That does sound mm -hmm. terrible. 
He said duty. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like the dude in A Wonderful <laughs> Life would be like, wow, why look at her going to that game store. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just rolling those dice. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> Watch A Wonderful Life. What's that dude's name? Jimmy Stewart. Uh, it's a oh. bad impression of Jimmy Stewart. I can't do it now. Is that who you're trying to? Oh, my God. Look, I was impressioned. I, I don't have a fedora, so. You, you did a thing, Nathan. I, I feel like you should. I feel like you should just have a fedora right there. <laughs> I have a feeling that he has a fedora. I do. I have a fedora. <laughs> Yeah. He's just want to get it's very small. Like, very small. Look, look, look in his eyes. He definitely it's has about a this big. He wears just a, a tiny business. fedora. Jason definitely has a fedora. Yeah. Yeah. He looks like a fedora. I feel, I feel like we all need <laughs> tiny hats for chaos and gun. We do. We Everybody should does. all get tiny hats. And and tiny mid brigade hats. We should. We should give them away. Uh, uh, instead of pizza this year, we're gonna give away party hats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like those little leprechaun hats that they yeah some yeah. silly yeah we could just go to like Party City and just find it by <laughs> get it get it and then we just walk through the con and give out like and we tell them we're gonna have ask. like a celebration on like Saturday night or something and never do no, just never have anymore. any celebration at all just give everybody hats just give it's it the hell of it yeah at. that'd be great. <laughs> I volunteered, I volunteered our table to do registration on Thursday. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I volunteered our table we're hanging to do registration. Out. The party table, because, I mean, we were right there last year. I mean, they may not have registration there. I, it's it's not a great like idea, dude. We could slip them. Day one, it'll no, be. No, no, there. we could slip them, <laughs> like, uh, some Myth Brigade merch and then, like, little notes that, like, this game sucks or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, that's weird. That would require. Oh, you're registered with this DM? No, 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 no. Yeah, Let me steer you in this direction. Don't do that. Yeah. Well, I thought, you know, we could give him a badge and, and Byron, you could pour him a shot. You know, welcome to the well, club. I got a pour shot, so I'm not a shot pour. I'm, I'm a shot caller. Tyler's a shot You are Rick Jamerson, is what you yeah, are. Yeah, you are Rick <laughs> Jamerson. <laughs> I'm not picking this year, so you got to yeah, yeah, right now. You, you say that right now. I'm not, man. If we're going to pour people shots, it has to be yeah. something truly horrendous, though. Like Malort. Mm. Yes. <laughs> oh. If we're doing <laughs> shots, we're not doing anything yeah. gross. I'll throw up. Punch your taste buds in the face. No, no, that, that's not. Are for you anti-puke this year? Well, you really are growing up, Tyler. Oh. Like as compared to the other things that he'll drink. No, I'll, I'll still throw up and drink. That's not gonna change. But like, I just don't <laughs> want to throw up something gross. Yeah. He wants his throw up to be sophisticated throw up. Mm. Just you know, don't eat. Tyler. He's just as good coming up as it did going down. Yeah, I thought that was the point of the fireball. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's strategic. <laughs> fireball is great coming back up, don't you think? It doesn't change. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't get metabolized. I, I just need stops, to be able to nice throw up medic. and keep walking. Like it doesn't All right. <laughs> All right, let's go to Dr. Henry Brent Adams. How are you? Oh, yeah. I, I, I see. My, my issue is, so I'm visiting my mom down in Florida, which has been kind of sunny. I yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> It's been, it's been a little like okay, you know, it's it's winter time down here too, so it's like not it's as fun as I was hoping it would be. But it, it's been relatively compared to Pennsylvania, where I'm usually hailing from. Isn't everything better than Pennsylvania? Yeah. Well, hey. and hey. so what part say. of Florida, Brent? Uh, near Tampa. Oh shit, we're not. How did, really? How, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not far. I'm, I'm literally coming back. I, we, we should have talked, but you've been gone. It doesn't matter. I have. Hey, but, I have been gone. Um, I, I am literally gaming starved right now. I am, <laughs> look at me wasting away. I'm wearing a Hawaiian t shirt. Yeah. I, you, look, you look like a retired cop. I, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're about to tell a team of special investigators. Where's your fishing <laughs> kill? Where's your fishing kill? Be like, get off my fucking car. <laughs> 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 I'll just. Oh, man. It's like the kids. It's like the kids are messing with his boat, and he's like, "What are you doing? 
I've been fucking laughing about it. I've been fucking laughing about it for like 20 minutes. I've been fun trying to find a way to bring it up. <laughs> uh, it, it was very good. You did you did find a very clever way of bringing it up. <laughs> Your patience has paid off, Tyler. Yeah. yeah. Uh, very well done. So All I, right. yeah, I'm coming back home on Friday. So I'm, I'm looking okay. forward to being oh, back nice. with my usual gaming groups and stuff. All right. And then, uh, Dan, how are you, buddy? Hey. Uh, I'm glad to be back from China. It's really nice. I'm, I'm a little cranky that my Sunday night uh, D&D game got interrupted by this, like, superb owl thing. But, I, like, I heard, like, you know, Taylor Swift met her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, there. And apparently there was also some sort of game being played. But I, I'm not really sure what it was. Anyway. <laughs> overall, you not, lost not me. I'm doing well. I lost yeah. you? Yeah. Well, I, I think I got Jason, so that's oh, one. You got me. Okay, that's two. Oh, no. All right. You got like ninety percent of the class on the way by. You lost me at sports. <laughs> yeah, I only aim for the ninety percent A. The last ten percent is just waste. <laughs> That's fine. I am pretty much waste. So, yeah. <laughs> sorry, man. You'd be losing. I'm good. All right. I'm good. And last but not least, Mr. Jason Jones. Uh, look, I don't know. Back I, from your European travels. Yeah. So I was in Italy a minute ago. Uh, I got in it after two this morning. I'm very tired. Uh, my my beloved other person had half her shit stolen out of her luggage and has been so angry about it all day that I feel like I did something wrong. Oh, oh you did. You did. I did. Apparently I, yeah. Anywho. So let's move on from that. I wanted to say we have surpassed 3000 subscribers, which is amazing. Woo! We are now qualified for the YouTube uh, paper mache plaque, which they send you. If you're lucky, it Hell doesn't yeah. Get collapsed. Um, but I wanted to I wanted to give us a shout out to a viewer who has followed this group in particular <clears throat> for a bit. Um, sorry, I'm losing my voice real bad. But um, so Rooster's Place, he's commented a lot on the Knights Black Agent stuff. He's followed us quite yeah, a lot. Yeah. And he said, uh, here's a comment for you. You guys are the only actual play I watch. Thank you for the content. Would love to see some Delta Green or more Knights Black Agents. Uh, and he also made another comment a couple of weeks ago that said... I know the different, um, I love how the different characters all had different feelings about the lost time. So talking about when we were kind of like, you know, uh, struggling to figure out what, where the lost time was coming from. So, so Rooster, thanks for following us. Um, and, and thanks for engaging in the comments. It's that kind of stuff that makes me show up every day. If you, if you get it and you feel these characters, cause I know I do. So that's my update and I'm here and I don't have the flu anymore. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot, Rooster, for following yeah. us. I know you did uh, comment quite a bit on the Knights <coughs> Black Agents, and that was phenomenal. I don't know if we'll see Knights Black Agents again. We, we, was... we got another just a couple episodes, right? Yeah, we got the... like this one or two. Like, we got like one or two episodes. <laughs> in the back. You might, be, you might see some. Uh, you might see <laughs> some Call of Cthulhu. Maybe not necessarily Delta Green, but uh, maybe regular Call of Cthulhu. Yeah, uh, possibly. That'd be awesome. So, I think they did just come out with something for Delta. Yeah, we got to start putting that game together, Dad, for uh, the test run of our stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nope. I, would, I, I bet some of these people would love to see some sinister scenes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's what I'm talking about. And yeah. now that Dan's back. Oh, well, now, I'm sorry. We wrote Dan out of that one. We replaced Dan. I'm yeah. sorry. Aww. But I have to kill their I have to kill their characters the next couple weeks as well. So, Tara, yeah. we, we got to get that going, so. Yeah. Yeah. Should be able to uh, unveil some cover art here pretty soon too for <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah, our artist just about has everything finished. So we'll see what's going on with that. We should be expecting a yeah, chimney day here. So got to look for that. But all right. So when we last left off, you guys had uh, basically done some um, recon. Mm -hmm. uh, to the subway station uh, that Nigel told you about. Um, the subway in the London Underground can be accessed really from hundreds of locations, from the inner city to the suburbs, an influx of mortals uh, dressed in business casual clothes, dragging wheelies and talking on their phones, groups of teenagers going to parties, elderly couples too old to drive, and confused tourists just trying to reach the airport in time to leave <laughs> or so forth. Uh, can all pretty much tell you where the tube stations are. So not hard to find, but Nigel has let you know 
where the particular entrance to the part of the underground you want to go to. It is surrounded by construction uh, equipment and barricades, uh, chain link fence with some darkened uh, cloth, that construction cloth on it. Um, you can hear a chain link kind of rattle in the wind uh, as you're walking around, kind of getting an idea. You notice uh, anyone with uh, good perception uh, or good uh, good wits and awareness, if you have at least five dice there, you would notice that there is uh, CCTV uh, cameras kind of keeping the eyes on the upper part of the grid. And you can see a, a yellowed sign stuck to the chain link fence that says closed for renovations or further notice. There are con some construction crews working late into the evening. Uh, the platform up above that uh, uh, the monorail kind of, or the rail kind of comes to, um, it looks like they're building some sort of restaurant or something there. Um, the plastic hangs over the lighted uh, platform and so forth. Um, there are a few police officers uh, wandering around the lower level and stuff. Looks like there's been some increased tensions in London as of late. Some supposed terrorist activities. And so London is not necessarily on lockdown, but We'll say medium alert. You guys have uh, managed to pretty much get your backpacks and gear. You know that you're probably not going to be able to come back necessarily uh, to the upper level uh, in one trip, perhaps. Just depends on how deep you go and how many hours you spend looking in the underground. Nigel tells you that Richard is is deep within the system. He will not be in the in the uh, the outer kind of perimeter of the underground. And that there are levels below what is the tube stations. Mm -hmm. I picture so you guys maybe a half a block away or so, kind of taking it in. You've wandered around, kind of got all that information. Um, from what you were doing. What do you guys do? And tell me an item that you would have brought in your bags for this expedition, we'll call it. Well, things that are not obvious, or? Yeah, think many things that are not obvious. Um, the, uh, Dr. Henry would have, uh, other than his usual, um, his usual little, um, wrapped up kit of, uh, toxins, he's traveling a light on those this time, um, for four syringes, each filled with, um, each filled with morphine <laughs> just for, just in case he needs them and a razor sharp scalpel, uh, tucked in the same kind of leather holster, uh, kind of a, um, not a leather holster, one of those fold over um, sort of packages, four syringes um, and the, the uh, scalpel um, and, and some IV tubing as well mm -hmm. uh, on a neat little satchel there that kind of folds over and is compact. Okay. Like a little, uh, we'll call it, not, not a messenger bag, but something a little smaller. Yeah, have you ever seen like a one of those locksmith yeah. Yeah, like one of those leather locksmith things that like okay. just folds over. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got it. And uh, also, I'm going to give all you guys, so I'm going to steal something from Blades in the Dark, which is basically like an open inventory slot. And I'm going to let each one of you have two items that will be inventory slots that you can choose at a later time what they are. But once you choose them, that slot will be filled. Okay. Okay. So. Anybody else? 
Well, of course, I would bring my bags of blood. And then, in some moments when discretion doesn't prevail, we have prayer, so I suppose there's a Bible. And then, in other moments when discretion fails, but we don't want to lose our temper, there's the 357 Magnum. <laughs> and that is tucked away behind my back. Got it. <laughs> uh, I <laughs> believe Akilu would bring some uh, books, actually, like a little small set of books about and basically anything that's happened in the world since we've gone to sleep. So, like, he has this book on, like, post-World War II. Oh, nice. And, like, a book on, uh, like, psychology. you got, like, the Encyclopedia Britannica <laughs> in a backpack. Like the, <laughs> the fall of the Third Reich, stuff like that. Like, nice. just a bunch of information on how the world has changed. And probably one of those occult books that you had. That you yeah. From your back. Uh, and I have uh, this uh, fancy dagger. Uh-huh. This Egyptian dagger. Yeah. Yeah. Not not the bronze dagger. Either. Not the bronze dagger. Uh, but a dagger. Yeah. I I have my dagger. Dagger I woke up with that fits my palm so perfectly. And I have my spell book. So I'm slowly working my way through it. Um that that book that we found in the vault. And a handful of rings that I have woven from with ribbon and strands of my own hair. Oh. Okay. Damn. I like it. I like it. And uh, also tell me what kind of like clothing you would be wearing. Like what kind of clothing is everybody uh, wearing to go into this? Oh, well, I'll go with this because I have. So I have my I went to get like motorcycle jacket and like motorcycle leathers. And while some people have been saying to get get black leather, black leather is what Nazis wear. And so the brown leather is what the allies wear. And I've got my, I've got my camera. I, um, just from the scenes that we've been around, I thought I would bring some interesting things that we might need. Um, ecstasy and uh, <laughs> need just in case we need to drug anybody because you just never know. Uh, I have Angelique's brass ring and um, I have a um, a small a small derringer that actually I it looks very similar to uh something that I would have carried back in back in the war. So got that too. I'm I'm feeling very secret agent right now. Very, very nice black agents. Very Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Especially the ecstasy. You go rooster. <laughs> party, party, party. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I would uh, probably be wearing uh, like I went to one of those hiking stores, got cargo pants. That's exactly it. Yeah, I, 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 a, a probably Mister Rogers. Style. As like a seasoned explorer, I would have absolutely helped everybody pick out their perfect cargo pants. And oh my god, <laughs> we're not all dressed like Indiana Jones, are we? Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> absolutely. All of my cargo pants are black. I'll, every every single one of my accessories. Is uh, they have uh, military green or gray. No black. <laughs> gray. Oh yeah. Somewhere in gray camo, I guess. Where's that plastic rectangle? <laughs> right yeah. Here. here you go, dear. Uh, Go to our sugar mama. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lady. Lady, lady Catherine, uh, lady may, may I please borrow the plastic rectangle? <laughs> I very much appreciate the utility of all these pockets. Mm. Right? It's good. Right? Uh, don't let something get in them. Uh, you'll have trouble. <laughs> well, Max will be wearing a suit jacket, single-breasted with a notch labels, uh, lapels, 
a uh, pair of matching trousers, probably a crisp button down shirt, uh, the light blue contrasting his dark suit. Um, also, of course, he's wearing a tie with dark color complements the overall look. And his shoes are loafers with tassels, no laces, and glasses, as you would normally see him wear. And is he wearing socks, or is he like one of those rich guys that doesn't wear socks? Oh, no, he, 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 I'm not a barbarian. I'm English. Of course I'm wearing socks. He, he has those Good socks that are that? like this, like headless and half an inch on you. <laughs> yeah. Also, no shows. they're Argyle. Special thing he's carrying. Uh, he's carrying uh, a few pairs of latex gloves and a rain poncho with a face mask that he keeps in a small satchel. And uh, he does that just to, to keep coordinate things with neat the suit. when things get messy. I'm, I'm, I'm glad Max and Dr. Henry both have serial killer kits. No, oh, it's it's not for serial killing. No, no, every killing is an individual act. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it's never a... It's never a no, so of course not. Here. Max, do you but that's do know we're there. going into the special. underground? If, if everyone, yeah? I, and he's kind of having amnesia right now because he was gone for like a little while. So if everyone's wearing matching things or has like like weapons, I, I, he may have a pistol or something. You have to tell me because I've been gone for a while. No, that'd be up to you. If you want to have a pistol, you can have a pistol. It's never a bad thing to have a gun. I mean, carrying, I'd carrying, rather have carrying a, gun. a gun in England is illegal. Max, it's not, it's not that's why I've, I've got a knife. <laughs> Where we are going, I would highly suggest you consider Skechers. They're very comfortable <laughs> and reasonably <laughs> priced. Look at these rugged boots. <laughs> that's an excellent idea. Thank you. Now, now with titanium soles. Yeah, exactly. Uh, La up. Lady Catford has determined a new thing that has come about since seven and eight years ago. It's called a sail. <laughs> yeah. but he will black Jack. <laughs> look he i've, I've like discovered buy, deep, like buy discounts. <laughs> <laughs> deep discounts he comes out with the buy two get one free oh dears only the poor You'll never believe it i bought a we second and they gave me a third <laughs> i found a bago store <laughs> 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 All right. So you guys do see the, as you're kind of watching and stuff, there's an okay amount of people out and about um, because it's early in the evening. Um, everybody can go ahead and give me a rouse check uh, as you wake up. Oh, I'm a hungry little fellow. Oh, so I'm myself. Mm. Where am I? Oh, good. So your hunger should be two, Tyler. Were we at kill. zero just kill? minutes ago? Yeah, yeah, we were at zero. Oh, that's right. You guys, chill. you guys all got put to zero. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So no. Uh, so no, so no rouse check then. So one. Yeah. Well, little we'll late. Oh. Let's see how I would have done. I failed probably, right? Uh, yeah. Well, you still have the one ahead of me. I'm the only one that failed. Yep. So the only person that got any hunger for today is. Mr. Aquila. Okay, you see the uh, policeman. Like I said, there's uh, there's three of them, and then there's one with a dog, and they're kind of like walking back and forth. Occasionally, they like gather together and speak to each other, and then they kind of separate up apart. You see them uh, every so often. They'll kind of report in or something in their uh, walkie talkies that they carry. They are carrying some flashlights. Shall we um, persuade them to go elsewhere? Um, Ban. One, one quick question, but since we did our rouse check, yeah, yeah. is everyone going in kitted out? Like, I mean, or are we just going with sidearms, Max? Because I was gonna uh, bring my shotgun with me, but I just don't know if that's a great idea now. Oh, uh, well, shotgun, you know, that's going to be hard to conceal at night. Unless mm. you have it, like, sawed off underneath your that's jacket. So, so, do you have oh, that's kind of in your violin case, maybe? <laughs> in your violin case. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I had in your pants, Is that or? a double barrel in your violin case, or are you happy to see me? Uh, no, that's just, no. I mean, a pump, a, a pump action sawed off would be relatively more concealable. And you were in a trench coat carrying a duffel bag? 
Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's got a red wagon way. behind him full of. Yeah. <laughs> or, yeah. Or just a or, or just a so suitcase. He's like oh. he's like that family going to the zoo. Or, or, or just strap or on. He just put a strap on and saw the stock off. Yeah. It, Swinging over your arm. Yeah, it's pretty pretty much. Movie. I, I was just wondering how kitted out people were generally going. Well, you uh, just heard because they just told you. Oh, okay, good. Okay, and I'll I'll, br I'll bring it in in the sidearm then. <laughs> okay. Um, did Nigel talk to us about? what kinds of um, defenses we could expect. He doesn't know, unfortunately. He's, he's, he hasn't been down there enough. He's bound by something that does not allow him to enter. Yeah. Right, right, that's right. He can't talk about it. Should should we yeah. Should we allow uh, them to Alice see us was, walking Alice down? Alice was able to figure out that it has probably something to do with a blood bond. I mean, if we could just let them see us and we can just mentally dominate them to forget. Well, or fair they, enough. Can, they look, I was going to say, yeah, they look like they're not letting people in. That's should we like, this is a convince them to leave station. their post, perhaps, or something? They, uh, it troubles me that... Um, it, 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 should our, our forgetfulness not set in just as... I mean, we're a fairly distinct group. It's almost the beginning of a cruel joke. I mean, a priest and a not, doctor. As long as they're not vampires, we should be fine. I can just dominate them into going away, mm -hmm. to returning to their posts in two minutes after we walk wherever we're going. Mm. I mean, yeah, we can dominate, we can compel, we can... Yeah, <laughs> she's like, we can do them. whatever we, we want. Can all them. <laughs> we, can <laughs> we can make small requests of a target once they're odd. Mm. No, they've been odd for a long time. And as of course, I, I'm not suggesting this, but failing all other things, we could just eat them. It might be a while before we have a snack. Oh, well, I, I think I think that would uh, be counterproductive on the stealth. Posture. There's two hmm. of them. Three. There's one with a dog. Three. You said there's there's three, and then one with a dog. So there's four that kind of mill. Oh, would, would we know if dogs or other animals present more of a challenge to us in some ways than humans? Do they have? Um, no, not really. Oh, I mean, they obviously have keener senses, so they're going to hear you or see and you. They probably or start smell freaking you. out, right? For the okay. Not necessarily, but they will. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you only can, I bought a blush of life. Blush of life would pretty much make you appear to be human. You smell like your human. You don't smell like dead flesh or anything. If only I bought a, brought a safety vest and a clipboard, this would be easy. <laughs> Could, there, hey, you have two. You have two inventory slots. Go ahead and use those up. <laughs> yeah, in one of my you inventory slots, is a, inventory <laughs> one of my inventory slots is a bottomless pram. <laughs> <laughs> nice pram of holding. Pram of holding. Well, are, are, does it look like they go around in circles at all, or does it look like they're just going to be stationed here the whole time? Uh, several of them are stationed here. They do, you know, go on. Several like of them, so there are a bunch of they them. Don't How many total? Yeah, the there's four, thing four. Unattended. Okay. 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 Three of them just uh, hang out, and the one has a dog. And like, they uh, make do they do they just kind of like fuck off in rotations of two, or yeah. like now they do rotations of one? Okay. Do we care about? Them. Do we care about being seen on CCTV? Probably. Because if we, any, do we have someone that, that can obfuscate that and then we can just chat these fellows up the and you know, I, I can't talk disappear our way through. from the TV, but I can get there unseen. Yep. Unfortunately, obfuscate does not cloud mechanical footage. Is okay. there actual cameras around here? Yeah. It's one of the things you saw. Mm -hmm. that there's CCTV footage or cameras. It's like watching the grid. And what, and what are we doing right now? Just to, you said uh, you're about we're, a half a block away, yeah. just dicking off. <laughs> hey, um, we have a number of you who are capable of dominating the mind of mortals. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the, usually, typically, the fastest way, the the easiest way is the correct way. We don't need subter. Just approach them and use your abilities to get them to move away and not care the about. problem becomes if one of them works for a 
what's his name? Because he's not going to be just an easy dominate. Yeah. And that can... <laughs> You're not sure if any of them might be ghouls. Yeah. Or That's even thin bloods or even... I don't, I don't think there's any way for us to tell. Um, yeah, are, 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 are there are there civilian mortals around? Yeah, there's a few here and there. Um, I'm just like, uh, can you command a civilian mortal to make a scene? For example, yeah, that is a good idea. Become oh. hysterical, as women do. Throw themselves <laughs> in front of a train or something, you know, like that. <laughs> I mean, we could just have one of them go down the street. And then, or like walk around the corner and make a big deal. So, some of the. And throw yeah, themselves I mean, in front of a train down the street. Yes, of course. Uh, uh, take all their clothes off. Oh, yeah, we'll have, have one of them attack another. Yes. And, uh. A disturbance. Uh, I, I meant something less violent. <laughs> well, but you, you want to captivate a, their uh, attention, do you not? You could, you, you could uh, sever a, a femoral artery. And, and then they will be bleeding on the ground and need immediate medical attention. They'll most certainly die by the time. Well, that'll distract the dog, too. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's also, gonna bring, it's also like... probably going to bring more attention this way. Can anybody, do Do any of us have the ability to um, create, a, like, an, uh, an illusion of smell? No. Uh -uh. We can create a so. proper. I mean, the Chipotle is just down the way, so we can. <laughs> we could give Doctor Henry. We're we thinking give like Dr. a gas leak. Some onions. Mm, that'd be smart. Oh. Mm. But yes, I mean, I think that I think a distraction. Uh, it's like you, you uh, individuals who have the capability to do that. You choose the distraction. Yes, but or, we should coordinate, should we not? Or, or, or while they're enraptured by you say max uh simply injure them i mean what if, lady catherine you were talking about doing all you just kept uh, yeah all we could all attention. we could dominate we could compel what if we combine our resources so that one of us compels one of the those people to create a disturbance and one of us convinces the rest of these law enforcement officers that is a much bigger and more grave disturbance than it should be and just off they go we only need enough time to get in and see, correct? Mm -hmm. So Good should boy. they return? We'll be Will the police officers please help? My friend is being attacked by a big group of men. Mm. Right is, down the street. Go is, get him. And is there an obvious entrance there, or is it just gated off? <laughs> it's gated off. Make sure all the cops are like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> you, you can't really get a good look at the actual building itself, at least the lower level, mm -hmm. because it has like that... That six foot, eight foot chain link fence with the construction mm. fabric on it. But there's no construction work going on in and out of it right now, so you would assume that it's probably locked in some manner. Is there I any um, heavy Henry's equipment? Or... Oops, sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Dan. I was going to say, I think Dr. Henry's idea is, is a fine one. If we were to distract them, as, as Alice said, with a couple of individuals perhaps commanded to um, draw them to one edge of the area while naked and quite frisky, then I'm sure they'll be distracted long enough for us to easily hop over the fence. Alternatively, I'm more than happy to distract them myself if you wish. I could simply draw them to me and draw their attention uh, perhaps while you sneak over the fence. Random color palette Monday. Oh, I like that. It's Monday when I'm... <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 I clicked I agree. on the wrong thing. Sorry. Yeah. I, I agree with that. Again. That that would be a, a, a simple approach. Although it does it, it does forget the fact that Max does. Uh, how how many of us can dominate? I can. I can. So that's I one can. of them. Yep. That's three. There's four. Hey, <laughs> put your fucking hand down. <laughs> that leaves one fella, guys. So that seems to solve the problem right there. We can just target not the one on rotation, wait for the one with the dog to fuck off. Well, if you dominate two to attack the other two, then you only need two dominates. Does it not Whoa. seem strange to you that we all walk up close to a group of them and, and individually engage in conversation? Oh, 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 oh by, the, by the time, they, they, they might recognize it as suspicious, but by the time they realize the threat that they're actually about. Yeah, they they would just uh, assume we're normal people. They they I would I 
I don't think they would just assume we're a bunch of vampires trying to doing what we're doing. Your, your, your point about not knowing their origins concerned me. I believe there is a risk here. I will assist yeah. however however you wish. But I think there's more to this we situation. We don't make a decision they're powerful. going to change shifts here pretty soon. So. That's a fine <laughs> idea. Let's wait for them to go on dinner break. <laughs> We'll probably uh, be there forever. Like 9.30 at night. Yeah. And there's four of them. It's not like we're... <laughs> I mean, really, having a priest and a very vulnerable, beautiful woman going up and perhaps asking for help or talking to them in some fashion, I don't think they're going to be suspicious until it's too late. Mm. Yes, and, and, and with Max's powers of persuasion in addition... It, it should. This should be a relatively simple task. We might be overcomplicating. Perhaps we are. For all right, so we're gonna go. Do you okay. see the grin on Byron's face? I see his face. <laughs> we're not overcomplicating anything. We're all. in trouble. Nope. Yeah, I guess we we find a time when the dog is you know because okay, so you wait for the guy and the dog to go fuck off around the back. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And the three dudes are kind of standing there. Uh, there are probably a couple feet away like the two guys are kind of bullshitting about something and the other guy's like you know maybe about eight or ten feet away i'll take the dude by himself you two take the team okay i, I would allow lady catherine to engage do you, do you approach from different directions i'm sorry yeah yeah, yeah i directions? think so I, I think I, I i would try to make it so that lady catherine's kind of engaged and I sort of sidle up to the other one and, and be like, I'm, I'm sure what she's saying is very important, but, and I, I'll, I don't know what I'm going to say to him, but yeah, okay. I'm going to play it off that way. Yep. Okay. So you just, uh, you guys are just ignoring the CCTV footage. Do you have a yeah. minute to, to listen to a story about our Lord, Lord and Savior? Guy? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, do, I do straighten out my, you know, I'll make sure I look good for. Yeah. Okay. Whereas I mess up my hair and maybe. Open up my jacket a little more. We, than we can have Lady maybe. Catherine contact uh, Nigel, and maybe he can deal with it. That's oh, you do know that camera fo- that that he's tapped into those cameras. Yeah, right. yeah. Nigel could try to take care of that. Uh, and Nigel's the only person that I think we know that could actually have any luck at. Well, oh, we we just keep the we just keep the angles in mind. That's yeah. all. I, 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 don't, don't, don't give them any direct shots of our face. They're like those little dome cameras, so you really can't see which direction yeah, the camera's facing. <laughs> but ah. yeah, not, no, not to mention, we have no identities anyway. You know, that's true. Good luck finding who I am. You know, <laughs> you might have a picture of my face, but you have no idea who I am. All right. Okay, so you guys, uh, guess, go to uh, to find them. You know that it takes about eight, ten minutes worth of time before the guy normally comes back. So you wait for him to kind of go around the corner and then it's off. So you'll probably waste about a minute or so of that eight to ten minutes uh, when you go. So, all right. You, uh, you're kind of walking up. And uh, as Akiva, you're walking up to the one guy all by Yeah, I, I have, like, a, a map out. I'm going to mm-hmm. get, like, a, a map of, like, the area or whatever. Yeah. I'm going to act like a tourist, like I don't know where I'm at, and, like, try to get that guy's attention. So is that map of the area filling one of those inventory slots you were just talking about? No. <laughs> all right. So you're it's, in his, it's in his uh, encyclopedia. Uh. That's okay. I don't need that. I'll just uh, I'll do the same thing. Uh, I'll look for like a landmark or something like that, and just approach him under the guise of seeking information. Sure, there's tons of landmarks in London. You would know yeah. one of them for sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I'm just gonna immediately try to dominate him and ask him about a landmark to see if my domination worked. Okay. All right. It appears to he's like talking to you about it right away. Whatever landmarks it is. He's like, oh, you're looking for the bridge? Yeah. Yeah. The bridge is on the other end of town. Well, kind of, you know, there's so many bridges here in London. But oh, mm-hmm. uh, it's it's better to look at it in the daylight, though. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it would be fantastic, <laughs> but, you know, I'm so busy during the day. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 
uh, yeah, I understand. I'm, I'm, I'm more of a night worker myself. I sleep a lot during the day. Not that you <laughs> probably know what that's like. <laughs> oh, no. Tell me about your uh, your job, and I'm going to dominate him to tell me about what he does. I say, oh, yeah, I, you know, I, I love doing security work. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's paid pretty good, you know. Do you guys get, like, your fancy badge that says there. it's you? And stuff so like that. he doesn't really give you an opportunity to interrupt him. He's going all in, dude. He is like <laughs> just telling you. He ah. is just going. <laughs> he is like, yeah. And it's like, oh, I used to work in this place uptown, and then you know we did a bunch of stuff there, and then you know he's just going and going and going and going. He is. It's like you never get in a conversation with somebody and you regret it. Well, I'm just <laughs> gonna dominate him to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how far you get. You just convince him to yeah. shut up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. How many minutes do you let him talk? Uh, not that long. Okay. Because I'm uh, we're on a clock here. As soon as you realize he's not going to shut up. Yeah, as soon as I realize okay. he's not going to shut up, I'm like, hush. Like, uh, give me your security badge. Well, uh, okay. Uh, I'm dominating him. He just like gives you his badge. Yeah, cool. Thanks. All right, now we can get in wherever we want. <laughs> so what he gives you I, I is just think. a badge. It's just literally a, a <laughs> badge. like a shield, like a like a. It's just a shield. He doesn't have. <laughs> he like doesn't a, have like a key card or anything like that. No, he doesn't have a fucking key card. That's why I asked if they had anything like that. And oh no. no. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, then never mind. Oh, all right. So you get his key card. What do you want him to do now? He's just standing here watching. No, uh, ignore the like six of us and keep doing your job. Uh, he kind of walks over to you and lights a cigarette. He kind of walks away from you down to the end of the corner. All right. Uh, the your other two, you kind of walk over to the other guys. They're kind of like, they're distracted yeah. for a minute looking the other way, and then they look back to you. I'm going to come. I'm like, oh, please, please, officers. I, I need your help desperately. Uh, and I'm going to be trying limping a little bit. And, just, and I want Is to. Oh, are, are you in yet? <laughs> I twisted my ankle. Some man stole my person and tried to attack me, and I managed to get away. He's down that way. Please go find him down there. And oh. come to get him out he, of the way. He reaches up to his walkie-talkie. He's like, we're going to 1027 here. Mm -hmm. uh, can we go a few more offices? You should not tell anyone anything, dear. Just go ahead and get them. Be a <clears throat> big, strong man and go get my person. Yeah, I'll take it all. Don't take me need anybody. <laughs> I don't think we need anybody he's like, else. He's like, yeah, he's like, hey, you, you, come back this way. Come on. And he's like, starts running up the block. What about the other guy? So I think probably as Lady Catherine's engaging, I uh, I take him by the arm. Is um, I look at his hand. Is he wearing a wedding band? He's got to be. Yes. So I would kind of turn him and pull him in. I'm sorry, my son. I'm dominating him. I I'm sure what you're seeing over here is very important, but I need you to listen to me. There's something amiss at home. I can't tell you what it is, but you must leave now. Don't mention it to anyone. Just, just go. Go home. <laughs> See to it. He's like, yeah, yeah. He he walks over and he like there's a there's like a, a woman trying to get in her car on the street. He just like pushes her down and takes her car. <laughs> 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 and then he just peels out and goes down the block. Lays out. <laughs> uh, I believe that's a police emergency. Uh, you see the other guy. You see the other guy just kind of looks from the end of the block and he's like. <laughs> yeah, it's like I just don't fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're great. Let's go. Let's yeah, there we go. Let's move. All right. Yep. I can't wait for the dude with the dog to come back. And I know what he's doing. Right, everyone go. You reach up to grab a hold of the door to kind of open it. You realize that it's locked. Oh. It's, got, like, gonna unlock like, it's got a lock on it. Yeah, what is this construction chains box. with the there mm. is no skill with box it'd just be like subterfuge i guess mm. yeah. luckily it, 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 luckily i did bring 
these industrial lock cutters. There you go. Yeah. Slot yeah. one. Yeah. Slot one. I'm like, it's like, click, we're going to knock off one of these inventory slots right away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. <laughs> Remember, you're carrying bolt cutters. They're not small. I got yeah. Where, where yeah, no, he just puts them, he the puts them in Tyler's uh, pram. <laughs> he puts them in Tyler's uh, pram. Yeah. Yes. My bottomless pram. Yeah. He, he doesn't have a pram. Uh, yeah, I have two inventory slots that says <laughs> if I want a pram, I can have a pram. You can have a pram. That's true. Broken wheel doesn't roll very well. Oh, you. shit. Welcome to my it's luggage. It's the bottomless, you know. I'll yeah, duct tape something to bottomless. it. It's, bottomless, it's bottomless, so anytime you put something in it, it falls on the ground. That's the only bottomless you're getting. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we could do, uh, let's do, we try to cut it, so let's do strength and subterfuge, I guess. <laughs> I, I'm not rolling those dice. <laughs> okay, here we go. We got subterfuge. Watch him have a messy critical and just start yeah, just killing. Yeah, like fucking mauling people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's good to go. I got the lock, but I got to murder some people first, guys. <laughs> oh, there's a I, lady I have, who got knocked out of her car. <laughs> I have one die of strength and zero in subterfuge. <laughs> I know. It's just not not my specialty. Somebody roll it? Oh, sorry. There we go. Oh! Oh, beast oh, of oh, oh, sorry. I, oh. Oh. Uh, so, Brent, if you spend will, if you take willpower damage, you can re roll both your dice. No, you can reroll up to three, but you can't reroll the hunger die. Oh, you can reroll one die and maybe, uh, well, you know, you're probably going to maybe what? one. Get one. Get, get one. Get yeah, one. I mean, it'd be better for at least tough. a bestial success. Yeah, one success is still a bestial uh, failure. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll go, uh, you know what? Will power, you suck You'll it out. Lady. It doesn't matter. Uh, I, 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 will, I will take my medicine on this one. Yeah, yeah, you bought yeah. the <laughs> Go eat the lady, and she's awake. <laughs> eat the lady. Yeah, because her car was stolen. Eat <laughs> the lady. Yeah. He's got his morphine. He might. Her car was stolen anyway. Her life's basically over. I think she's stressed out with morphine. <laughs> Take her down. <laughs> oh, no. Two poor lady's just, like, on her way to work. Her car gets stolen. I, uh, I like the little giggly did. So. She's a nun. <laughs> Who cares for orphans? <laughs> so you were like, you know, these things cut so particularly. And as you're cutting, you're like, they would really go through bone very well. Oh. And then you decide that it would be a great idea to kind of take that woman apart with the bolt cutters. <laughs> right in the middle of the street. Right in the middle of the street. <laughs> like, oh like, like. Well, just cutting her up in little pieces, because you know you're you're all about meticulous and what things look like when you take them apart is your yeah, compulsion. <laughs> so you're like, yeah, you know, I don't think I've ever taken a body apart with bolt cutters. Look how smoothly they try to cut, while they don't cut through the steel. I believe the human flesh would be more giving. Can we sense that he's been overcome by his bestial nature? Uh, he turns around and starts walking to the street. Can I use my power on, on another player? Is that right? You can try. <laughs> I would like to use my awe using manipulation and persuasion. I think I nudge Lady Catherine and this is going to be interesting, eh? Oh, I can't wait to see this. I'm just going to step right back. <laughs> uh, okay. Max, you're going to have to bring your raincoat right. out. <laughs> so you're going to try to oh, yeah. use, try to <laughs> use awe on him? Yeah. So, uh, I, I went ahead and I and I rolled randomly. So if if you don't stop me, I'm going to cut off her ear. I'm going to go. Excuse me, ma'am. And I'm going to and I'm going to cut off her right ear. Yeah, she's not going to start screaming or anything, right? <laughs> excuse me, ma'am, is the working title, Dan. Excuse me. Ma uh, are you an art fan? Snap. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> he loves well Van played. Gogh. Can't you Van Gogh away? Oh, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> And good. There is some dominate. So how do I do this role with manipulation? Well, that's and what persuasion? we're looking for. He's, 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 he's looking it oh, up. Oh, it's right not now. manipulation and persuasion. No, you have to actually use a vampire power to stop him. Oh, it is. It's all. But it says I was reading it. It says um, involving persuasion or performance, 
and then you use your uh, I can use I thought it was my persuasion and manipulation. So it's dominate? I think it's presence and manipulation. That's what mine says. Well, what says what, what discipline are you before. using so that I can actually look it up? Uh, I wanted to use persuasion oh. and manipulation if that's possible. I got it, but neither of those awe. are an actual discipline. So what is no? The I mean awe. Okay, awe, and that is what that is a dominate power. Yeah, uh, it's not. It's dominate. presence, I think. It's okay. presence. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, all. it's presence. It says uh, dice pool is manipulation plus presence. Yeah, but I need to know what his what his. I'm like, with you to roll against is. So I'm sure. Oh, composure and intelligence. Right. So. Manipulation and presence on Dan's roll, and composure and intelligence on Aquila's. I don't see oh, presence sorry. on my uh, character sheet. Dr. Henry's. Uh, he doesn't want me to roll those dice. Yeah. Is presence <laughs> now called something else? Because I don't see presence on my character sheet. Presence is the power. It's the power. It might be under oh, disciplines. Okay. Under the it's going to be under disciplines. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's really high. <laughs> this is pretty it's good. Walk me through this. How do I roll this using roll 20? Mm. Uh-oh. <laughs> you, so under, under, your discipline, under, your under your discipline, under your discipline, if you battle. if you click the four arrows, the, uh, there's an icon toward the top, the four arrows out expands it, and then you have the roll button there. You just pick what you use. Click yep. like the attribute or the skill in the discipline. Oh, I see. So it says. Yeah, exactly. Uh, discipline. Let's see. Uh, uh, sorry about this. I'm trying to learn. Uh, the manipulation and presence. You sh I, you manipulation. Click on and manipulation. presence. And then just uh, with manipulation selected and presence, just let, click roll. Yeah, I think that's right. Pool size modifier. You just want to add dice, or that's if you're. Matter. Yeah, that was no, if you were spending no. additional dice from. Uh, my, well, I don't think we're using that. You don't have additional. Okay, yeah. so just hit submit. Yep. Difficulty two. two. Five. Yeah. No, don't do it. Just roll. Did you say five? five? <laughs> just the difficulty is five because that's how many successes that. No, Brian only got three successes. He got three successes. Got three. three of three two. Successes. Oh, I'm he rolled bad. five. My bad. Oh, it's the wrong number. I, I'm down I, with that, though, because I want to see him cut her ear off. <laughs> yeah, but eight successes is definitely a, uh, a success. So, okay. I say, uh, Dr. Did, Henry, did you, you know, no. there are a lot of really juicy ears I heard in the underground. I think you should hold on to those clippers. We should definitely go through right now and have a look down. Because so, uh, I've heard that the lobes on those fuckers are the size of coconuts. So, hold on. Ah, uh, actually just makes you drawn to them and so he just focuses on so you. he's gonna try to so cut your your ear yeah, off no. Oh, oh, oh. no 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 so anyone in the presence of vampire finds mm -hmm. their inexplicably drawn to those listening to vampires speak might suddenly agree on subjects where they once held different viewpoints it doesn't wrap or infatuation it is still strong enough to sway the minds of most mortals it does not change what he's doing it just makes you now the target of it oh i thought it said that it would actually allow me to make a request it does not say anything about I making a present check to make it and make small requests of the target oh no okay where does it say that you usually if i recall the the fluff on awe is that somebody who's odd is not capable of doing violence. presence is a really cool power on people uh, okay yeah. I see. I, I, I thought I wouldn't be able to do violence to a person. That... Oh no, you absolutely can. Oh, you can. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah well, absolutely I'll can. stand like sort of in the way and like try and and, and rapture him and his attention onto me. Oh, his attention's coming to you. Uh, I, I'm, and I, I, with I'm the bolt gonna, cutters. I, I'm 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 just gonna look at you and I'm gonna be like, well, she she would have came apart much easier, but Max, if you're, if you're going to him, then. Well, it, it's not like he. I mean, it, he's attracted to me. He like he thinks I'm the the bee's knees. Doesn't necessarily mean he wants to do violence towards me. He already wants to do violence. You haven't stopped him from wanting to do violence. You've just simply made yourself the center of attention. But that's um, what awe, the that's what awe is, does. This is not what awe does. If Dr. Henry tries to go after Max, I want to try to compel him. Like dominate, compel him. Okay, to, compel to is a whole other sport. Yeah, Lady <laughs> Catherine, you see my like the back of my hand. You see me going like this, like 
Make him a signal. Like, so, do something here. And I'll just try to slow him down. One thing that might be confusing, Dan, is you might be thinking about how it used to work in old editions. Uh, okay? Because these are very, very dumbed down compared to previous editions of Powers. They do not, they're not near as potent as they used to be. Yeah, it's been 20 years so, since I played this yeah, game. Yeah, so, yeah. yep. That's why I wanted to look it up, is so that I have the exact... I, I, I imagine Max it will only sting for a brief second. Well, oh, really? Been... So, tell me about your yeah. technique. Um, oh, he's going to show you his technique. Oh, shit. If, if Sean... Yeah, I'm just like, Dr. <laughs> Henry, you need to stop. All right, down. And... So... So that's okay, going to be another so, role. So we're going to do Charisma and Dominate versus Intelligence Resolve. Okay, so I think I have that set up as such. I uh, I put on my earmuffs. How many? How many? How much dexterity do you have, uh, Max? Yeah. How much dexterity do I have? Yeah, what's your dex? My dex is three. And what's your dex, Doctor Henry? Uh, three. Okay, cool. Well, the active character at that point would be Doctor Henry, so he would win ties. So, all right. So um, you try to compel him. So Dr. What's the Henry, pool size modifier, or do I add no, anything? There's never a pool size modifier okay. unless I tell you. Okay. Okay. Yep. Um, so. No! Oh, oh, no! Oh, uh, you <laughs> can. So. Because <laughs> like, I can't so let you Max. You can take willpower wonderful. damage to reroll. You can I've let actually taken one. willpower. You, you can and you can reroll. You just can't get any more than three. Come on, Lady Catherine, you can let yeah, You're going to have to get three I, I can see it in your eyes that you want to. No, it's not you enough. want it so bad. No, no. So bad. But you're right. Yeah, two. So what what body part does Doctor Henry like first? Does he feel uh, focused on the ears? Well, I mean, let me see. I mean, we could try to randomize it, considering he drew my attention. I wanted her ear. But maybe there's something else I want on Max. His eye. No, I'm just kidding. No, he won't try to that's not, that's not his joke. eye out with a pair of bolt cutters. And what is the? I, I want his. I, I I want his his right thumb. Okay. What is Aquila and uh, Alice? Uh, I'm not paying attention right this second. I'm talking right. to this other fucking homie. Down <laughs> so here what keeping is... this guy distracted while you assholes are fucking. <laughs> so so I, I think I'm gonna. Yeah. As I'm watching this now, finally unfolding like it's it's played out this way i've been watching all this time and i'm gonna kind of rush in and distract max with some or uh yeah with some some not max uh the doctor with uh with some nonsense about you know the savior and whatnot you know uh, it's gonna so, take a vampiric power yep yeah 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 i'm gonna use uh dominate okay what uh <sighs> i'm gonna roll so I like five. love it I love this. This is great. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to get involved. Do I have to keep on um, what another? Oh yeah, that lasts until your until the scene's over <laughs> for a moment at least. It's like, well, um, they're, gonna to, they're gonna have to take you over before you. Uh, intelligence plus resolve, oh, right? Is this gonna but, roll correctly? Yeah. That come through, okay. Mm -hmm. Why didn't it come through? Oh shit! Okay, pull side. Are you using compel? Is that what you're using? Yes. Well, or yes. mesmerize, compel. Okay, so charisma and dominate versus intelligence resolve. Yep, it's gonna Man, come I across it labeled weird, but that's uh, the right roll. So here it goes. Sounds good. Two of no, two. Oh, God God damn. Damn. It's Nobody like <laughs> uh, you take willpower damage to reroll up to three of those dice. You need to get. You, you, get, get it, you can reroll three of just you take one <laughs> one willpower. You might, yeah, all you gotta do is get two. You just have to get one. Uh, yeah, Fuck it. All right, so we'll take. What is that? You just want me to hit the button again and take the first two dice? Yeah, and just do. Uh, you're gonna take the your first three dice, and you're gonna. Right, right, it doesn't matter. Right, just right, hit right. reroll. Oh. Let me sneak in. Yeah. You know you already got two. Like, you know you already got two successes. So if you got three successes on the first three dice, right? Movie. Yeah, the first three yeah. dice are the only ones we're gonna count. Two successes. There we go. Woo! You know the Lord said an eye for an eye. You don't want to lose a part of yourself as well. Doctor, calm down. Calm down. And I flash my eyes at you as if to say, seriously, this is getting out of hand. No pun intended. 
Yeah. Out of ear. This is getting out of ear or eye. I don't know. Max You're... was about to not be able to hit right. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask this dude <laughs> if he has a key for the fence. <laughs> You're like, he's smoking and you're like, hey, bro. See you later. He's like, yeah. he's like, no. Uh, do you happen to have another pack, though? Uh, I'm about out of these. Uh, how do you get on the other side of the fence? Or you just like... we don't. Oh, okay. We, we, we patrol the outside. Not supposed to go in there. <laughs> Access. He 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 starts walking up to the to the gate. Okay. And he points at the sign and says, "No access." <laughs> do, do you know what's going on in there? Well, construction. They built with Starbucks and then some. <laughs> okay. I think it's your turn to take your route. Uh, you should forget we were oh. ever here, and I'm gonna cloud his memory and go oh. go on. He's like, oh. <laughs> "All right." <laughs> Poor he's like, dude. <laughs> he's like Hugh. He starts yelling. He's like Hugh. It's Bye. break time. It's break time, Hugh. I didn't tell him to go on break. That's not he what did. happened. You said it was time to him to take his thing. It's I time said it's time for his his, his rotation. Him to go walk. Yeah, the other guy goes on break. So he's yes. telling him that's his break time. <laughs> All right. All right. So yep. So they're gone. Did, uh, there's still the old lady, the lady in the street, trying to get up and try to figure out why somebody took her car. She's trying to go down the street towards where the other cop went. She'll figure it out down that way. Oh, you going? Come on. Oh, I was going to cut the lock. That's what I was going to do. Yeah, cut the, cut the lock. <laughs> I'll join the main disaster. <laughs> yes. As I send the dude off. Great. Are we ready to go? We have to cut the lock I'll, 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 so I'll, give, I'll give the bolt cutters to the reverend and just kind um, of stare off a little bit. I pat you on the shoulder and we all have our weak moments. What the fuck is happening? Who else is? <laughs> I, I, say, I, I say, look, the doctor had tools. And I walk over and I'm going <laughs> to... Do you have sub, subterfuge? And strength to use? No. I I have two Hopefully strength and one subterfuge. <laughs> I have one strength and no subterfuge. I mean, I have three and one. This is for, for you're, what? You're the goddamn best person to cut the locks. Oh. That is freaking insane. I, I think I uh, yeah, right? I think I'm showing him to Akila and I think Lady Catherine just kinda walks by and swipes like swipes him out of my it hand. Is. Just kind of it's because she's wearing it's because she's wearing the biker leathers. That's it right. is. Yeah. All right, it better be. Come on. Mommy, mommy. That's yeah. it. That's all you need. Yeah. I would like to compliment Alice in being the only one who's not descended into madness. In this All right. Situation. So you clip the you clip the bolt, and the, the it pulls the thing free, and the chain link kind of rattles as you pull it open. Uh, it's kind of dark in here. No one's you know you can see they're working on the the platform, but they're not working uh, like in the. Basement. I'm gonna activate my heightened senses and my sense the unseen, and just keep those active as we go down. Okay. Uh, all right, and you guys uh, can make your way over to the thing. It has like a, there's like a, a construction door. It doesn't really have a, a lock or anything on it at this point. Well, actually, it does have a lock. Uh, it has a key lock on it. It's got like some screws and stuff into it. Uh, are, are we are we stopped by a mirror uh, door? Does anyone have a Swiss Army knife? And probably the doctor does. He had bolt cutters, <laughs> I'm sure. Wait, do we all get we all get two inventory? Yeah, yeah. I have a Swiss Army knife. I have like the fanciest Leatherman. Yes. Nice. It's a really fat one. Yeah. Really fat one. Really fat one. It's got lock picking stuff. It's got a little saw. It's got a bottle opener. It's got a flint and steel. Um, it's got that toothpick, the nice little toothpick thing. The tweezers that can't tweeze anything at all. They're the just weird. Yeah, the stupid yeah. tweezers. Yeah, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Anybody know how to pick a lock with this? Well, the doctor uh, probably does. He had bolt cutters, I'm sure. I, I have streetwise. Uh, yeah, what? Uh, I hand you the Leatherman and tool. Dexterity. So. 
Uh, that's uh, my best uh, attempt. Let's see. Streetwise. X. I love that there's this group of vampires who are, we're supposed to be all scary and we're all just clustered around this lock. Like, oh, no, dude. That They're not. successes. That's good enough. Nice. So, yeah, you managed to pop the door open. Watch this. I'm flicking open. <laughs> without, uh, without breaking it, right? Yeah. You, you look as surprised open. as the rest of us uh, when yeah, it happens. Yeah, it, 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 uh, It's like that, um, there's like, they poured concrete, you know what I mean? So like, this is going to be like a, a station entrance, but there, none of the finish work has been done or anything like that. Uh, and it's a set of stairs on the other side of the doors, the double doors here that go down into darkness. There's no light. Okay. Um... Wrap, wrapped around part of my Leatherman tool is some duct tape, and I'm going to tear off a little piece of, of that and uh, put it over the the catch on the on the door. Okay. So that we can close it without it locking behind us. I like it. Uh, I'm going to fill one of my inventory slots with a headlamp. Uh, you would already be able to do that because you knew okay. you were going into darkness. Cool. So Dope. Like, you know, I'm nice. not going yeah. to make you spend that. You guys have lighting. Cool. Excellent. I Whether that be a hand light or a headlamp, one or the other, probably wouldn't have both. Um, it's a torch. Yes. Mm, it is. An LED torch. A little tiny handheld. Connected to your head. You have like a little pencilman thing. It's like about the size of a pencil, but it's like 10,000 watts. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Send. Makes it. Mm, like that UV so. lamp on blade. And it's like, it's so heavy. It's like, but you're so strong. <laughs> All right, so you guys managed to find your way into the station. Well, do we see? As, uh, as you're going down the stairwells, there's a variety of, like, things that they've been pulling into here, you know, some of the, like, booths and stuff like that that'll be here kind of stacked in... It piles and crates. There's some candy raw wrappers and some cigarette butts that have been discarded in the in the stairwell. It smells like a college bar. Mm -hmm. I love, no, I love really. that smell. <laughs> not really. But, nope. Okay, not like stale beer and cigarettes. This isn't active. Like no one's been drinking down here. Or anything like that. This is a construction site. Um, there's some tags spray painted on the um the walls like construction like you know different ways the conduit's supposed to run things like that spraying some yellow paint there's a can of yellow spray paint kind of to the side uh, up against the wall looks like they were using it they just left it here planning on using it again in the future um that could be as you go down I pick up the can of yellow spray paint and put it in my bag. Mm. Okay. No problem. Yeah, that could be useful later. <laughs> yeah. And it goes down into uh, the vacant train station, basically. Uh, it goes down a couple meters uh, before coming down into an opening. Uh, some of the tile, there's crates of, of tile that looks like they're you know, doing some masonry work and putting tiles on the walls and stuff like that. Um, you can hear the eerie sound of maybe trains in the far distance as the tunnel connects the different tube stations and stuff, uh, but it goes into darkness both ways off the platform. Um, it's There's a variety of debris and detritus that's just, you know, if you've ever been in a non-cleaned up construction site where, you know, work's going on, it's dirty, dusty, uh, it doesn't take long for you to get you know, concrete dust and stuff on your pants and uh, so forth from just even walking down here, let alone. I'll, I'll put on my, um, my, um, poncho. Parka? Okay. My, not a parka, it's a poncho. Yeah, it's a, yeah. It, it doesn't have like a rough thing. It's more like it keeps the rain and the guts off of you. With the it's like the plastic bag. Like, like the clear exactly. plastic. Yeah. yeah. It, it it's like that shitty. Yeah. Down. You ever see Unbreakable? He's wearing a poncho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, so you guys uh, also, make your way. We look around. Do we see cameras down here? No. Okay. 
you see like the wiring and stuff where they probably are going to put cameras, but there's no cameras hooked up at the time. Does, look does like that cable. lock cutter look like it could cut cables too? Um, yeah, you could probably yeah. cut cables. Huh? All right, just just wanted to check for reference. So, Byron, as I'm thinking okay. this through, is this a so this is just a essentially a subway stop or is it a train station? Yeah, it's a it's a subway stop. Okay, so no. No obvious entrance or egress. It's just the normal ways. So I'd, I would be looking down along the tracks for any sort of like cracks or fissures that one might go down into, or I don't know, look, like looking down, down the tracks a little ways mm -hmm. to see what, what that's like. Uh, so, I mean, it goes pretty much as, as long as, as far as your, you know, your torch light for your flashlight or whatever it can reach. And They're it goes, one of those. It goes into darkness. Can we, is there skill to use to see if there is any footprints going either direction? Because if there is some sort of activity out there's here, there's probably it. footprints all over the place from. Oh, I thought this was abandoned with the lights stuff. off. Is it not abandoned? It's not abandoned. It's a construction site. Okay, okay. There's just nobody yeah. here right now. So why yeah. here, here, here then? Wouldn't. Okay, we. Wouldn't fine. we be looking at this site and not away from this site? Not necessarily. This is how you get deeper into the tunnels. Not so much. He's a he's an old Nosferatu. Speaking of which, I'm gonna mm -hmm. look for like a subway map or anything like that. If they, um, you they're can building like a new zone or go ahead and do me. They are building a new zone. We'll see if they have like one of those construction maps that's like on the yeah. wall. Yeah, it yeah. might be something like that here. Looking for think. like a like a HQ, like a headquarters style. Yeah, place. Yeah, super call. doors and all the yeah. wrong uh, awareness and wits. Uh, you know, honestly, I'm not even going to make you roll. I think that's okay. pretty standard in a construction site like this, uh, where you could find a map on the wall. You know, it's kind of pegged up with some tape and stuff on the, some of the new tile that they put in. Mm -hmm. Now that they uh, don't mm -hmm. need a, a clipboard or anything, there's I'm a variety gonna... of notices and stuff like that that, uh, yeah. you know. Uh, I, I'm going to glance through some of the paperwork while I take the map. A anything standardized construction yeah. paperwork like you know not that i really know what i'm looking at but i'm like yeah paperwork. Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> relatively like you know you see like uh, notice to be able to dig you know things like that you know how old does this place look like could this potentially have been like an air raid shelter originally no, no and this is this is a this new brand station new? that they're building this, this, this is a okay so it's not new. like renovated it, this is brand new Right, Nigel selected this place because it connects to the other stuff, but it's new, so it's okay. not something that he maybe could have put as many defenses and stuff into. <laughs> so, which way is okay, closest okay. to the older part of the tunnels? And are there any utility doors or utility tunnels close by that might branch off? I asked. Um, That's what this map should help us. I yeah, I'm you. asking you. I'm asking you. Yeah. Um, so the the map is of like more of this construction area than anything else. So it will help for a moment, but not very long. Yeah, it'll help us around here. Help us yeah. get deeper. But after that, it'll probably yeah. And it shows it it shows a thing that says connects to you know whatever street station. Yeah, yeah we're gonna we're gonna head that direction, I guess. Yeah. If there's yeah. nothing else we can gather around here. Tunnels. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So there's you, no there's no door marked on there marked vampire access or anything like that. No, there's only a door to Damn it. no access. But. Would you guys like me to scout ahead at all, or sure, or just love remain that. as a group? As long as you feel probably comfortable. I, uh, from what I understand, Nigel told us it's going to be days before we even encounter the stronghold, so it, it, you might not need to scout ahead quite this soon. But I'm just concerned that there are multiple paths to take, perhaps. Yes, but this map says that uh, this one, and I'm pointing. Let's say at this way map. to the vampires. It's yeah, yeah. I'm like trying Does to it? like hold it up and. I, at this juncture, we have no other choice but to follow Nigel. We we have this map, and that's all. Hmm. I do Unless think we should stay together. Down. Fairly for now, until we get over. Then scouting would be. Oh. That is a fair point, Ellis. Should one of us go missing? Hmm. Again. <laughs> Again, yeah, exactly. <laughs> or fall asleep unexplainably. What have you done? Directly at Max. Uh, mm. 
The beauty of being eternal. I thought Max was just off doing something with Nigel. That's all. Sleeping. Sorry, Max. They were sleeping. There it was, was a group torpor thing. I didn't know when I opened the box. So that was... Oh. Mm -hmm. Um, so you go for we don't have that. It's like S yeah. for vampires. Sorry. You probably go for a, a couple hundred yards or whatever. And uh you're are you using a light uh or uh, you're all together, right? He's yeah. not yeah. going ahead. Okay, yeah. No, I'm so, not going ahead. Uh your let's see here. I'm I'm gonna turn my headlamp off. Okay. And since I'm using my heightened senses, who is who has a flashlight out? I have a little pencil, five thousand watt flashlight. So Max, uh, Doctor Henry, and Lady Catherine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and then does Alice or? No, uh, I have a I have one of those um, headband ones on, but it's not. It hasn't been turned on. It's, it's not turned on. Okay. All right, so you're going a little bit, and you you know your your boots aren't really making too much noise on the rocks and stuff that lay in the tracks because they're rubber soles, uh, except for Max's dress shoes are kind of like you know clicking and stuff with the leather soles a little bit on the rocks, um, but not making like an immense amount of noise, but definitely more than completely quiet. Walk um, quieter <laughs> as you're as you're walking. Uh, through yeah, you can hear him, Akilah. Yeah, I can hear him like he's loud. Oh, like, with your uh, with your heightened senses, heightened you're, like, senses on. you're like it's like he's chewing with his mouth open or something. <laughs> <laughs> he, he says it to me. I'll Could take out my not. little booties that go with my poncho. <laughs> and uh, you know, Max has the more powerful the flashlights with his little like you know laser torch. Yes. Yeah, and uh, I, it, I am I am running since the unseen too. Okay. As cool. am I. Uh, so since the unseen. I will uh, activate my cat's grace in case there's any like stumbling. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're just crawling on all fours on the ramp. No, no, no you, you, cat's grace. I can like walk on you a Turn around. He's licking his butt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, someone's got to do it. Out. Someone's got to my butt. No. Okay. Sorry. Nobody's gonna lick it for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah so <laughs> as you guys are you're walking, uh, Max, you're. Uh, your flashlight kind of goes across someone standing in the middle of the tracks. Oh, shit. And uh, uh, you hear, oh, hello? <laughs> and it's a, it's a young man wearing a green vest with a white button-up shirt. Sounds like Nigel. Like light brown khaki, khaki pants. Um, and he has a, a coat resting over his left shoulder. He started a kind of walking towards you guys. As he oh, hello. How are you, sir? Hey, chill like, out right there. He's like, oh, oh, hello. It's, it's so nice to see someone other than the police down here. Uh, he says, oh, my name is Victor. Oh, hello, Victor. I'm, I'm Max. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, too. Are his clothes modern? Uh, Byron, you mentioned yeah. we... Okay, mm -hmm. so it's like... Uh, he wasn't carrying any light source? Yeah. Uh, no, he was not. As he gets a little closer, you could see uh, what, see like spots of dirt and look like dried blood on his dress shoes. Uh, his gelled out hair is kind of out of place. The smart of his, smartness of his outfit kind of contrasts with his pallor. He almost looks thick with a very pale skin and kind of watery eyes. He quickly runs his uh, fingers through his hair as he realizes it's messy. Uh, somebody could give me a resolve and etiquette. What was that? Oh, here, let me take care of that. Resolve <laughs> plus etiquette, you said? Yeah. He can give you resolve. I cannot give you etiquette. I, I got you etiquette. Well, hopefully I have. Two. Uh, two successes. I got two successes. Yep. Not enough. Uh, uh, no failures, though. Three? Three. Not enough. All right. Uh, so he says, it's so, it's so nice to see you. Uh, it's like I, I I found this ad on one of the rubbish bins near Trafalgar Square. Oh, see, now you got to play. Now he you, got a success. He succeeded. Yeah, you need three success. You need four successes. So that's about to be a failure. Oh, oh shit. That's unfortunate. 
That's about the old failure right there. Good, good job, Jason. <laughs> what's your <laughs> What's your compulsion, Jason? Ah. Uh, Do you remember? Yeah. You're about caving. See, I'm about a madness. Yeah. That's, oh, cool. Yeah. That sucks. What type of psychological thing would he most likely have? So there's that boy. Um, yeah, I would and there's there's paranoia. there's the the one that that uh, killed the boy that I'm I'm and so so I think he's standing there and I'm kind of looking him over and and, and looking at it just his his sickly appearance and I can remember that moment when that that priest was brought in after what he did and he's saying something and I think I just kind of part the group and just like. And just I'm at him. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna oh, try shit. to fucking tear him in half. All right. Okay. It down. I pull down my Bye visor down. to keep the blood off my face. <laughs> and Henry's like, no now. <laughs> Remember what you said about like I think it just comes out of nowhere though, is he he just is fixated on this guy for some reason. Maybe the flashing lights, uh, you know, okay. whatever it is, throw him into a, a bit of a panic attack and uh let us know if we can take actions. Uh, yeah, you can do something. He's, he's, uh, what's your dexterity, uh, father? Da, na, 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 three. What's your, what's your dex, Jason? Three. Three. Yeah. Uh, anybody got higher than three? Yep. No. Okay. Looks like he's perfect. Are we rolling for initiative? That's nice. There's not really initiative roll, but it's just like seeing who's ahead or whatever. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you go, uh, to attack him. Go ahead and give me an attack roll. Which would be brawl with dexterity, brawl with strength. What are we doing there? Uh, yeah, brawl, brawl strength. Brawl you can use brawl dex, too. Are you trying to get a hold of him? That's more brawl. Yeah, I kind of, what I kind of want to do is, is like, grab him and throw like him to the ground. Just sort of take him off his feet. We'll do brawl dexterity, then. Okay. Um, oh, good. So, can you pin him there for me? Of course. <laughs> I, I live to serve. Let's see. Watch me get a. God, there's lots of clicking. Dif <laughs> What's my difficulty? Uh, your difficulty is going to be five. Oh, oh my God. fuck! You didn't tell Does me. Does this I was... guy look like it's Dracula again? Jesus. Three or five. Does this guy look like Jason? You didn't, Bateman you didn't think that's Psycho? a random dude standing so, in the middle of the subway looking at five well, vampires is like? Or, so as you try, I didn't him, think looking at his clothes was going to make me want to rip the fucking and, guy's head off either. But I'm doing it. So he yeah. sidesteps you with supernatural speed. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. I, I think yeah. I think I, I um pretender. I am there and I just start kind of rambling about stand in the darkness and whoa, pretend. Whoa, whoa. Whoa! And he's he's trying to he's running towards the group, like trying to Does get that away. Look like rapid reflexes to me. Yeah. Oh yeah. It looks like straight celerity. <laughs> There's no doubt. There's no yeah. question that he's using celerity. Uh, so as he moves out of your way, just give me a regular dexterity and shit. Dexterity what? To just maintain your stability. Athletics. Yeah, that's 30 athletics. That sounds good. I'm probably, oh, dude, uh, why did I say that? Two, I'm going to bust my two ass. Two successes. Two successes? Two successes is all you need to, to maintain your, because you're running at it. Watch me get another bestial failure and. Yeah. Freak out. All right, him. two of two. Dude's all right, good. Good. So you don't fall on your ass. So, yeah, he kind of turns out of your way. like on all fours. Like he was going at him and, and like he's yeah. full in beastman kind of turns eyes wide, kind of like panting and drooling a little. Pretend. Hide in the dark, if you will. We know who you are. He's like, look, look, buddy, I don't want any problems. And he's, he's like kind of running you, back. He's like, detect lies? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's not lying. He doesn't want any problems. Okay, okay. <laughs> he's not lying. Uh, what does the rest of you want to do as he's getting past, getting over to you? Uh, could you look up for me entrancement? Does entrancement let me make small requests? I think it does, but maybe not in this version. Entrancement. I will... Uh, I will be pulling out my my shotgun yeah. and pointing it Presence, at Presence, I'm you. assuming. Yes. <laughs> and pointing it at who? At me? No, no, uh, no. Th th this other guy. You're 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 my friend, sort of. <laughs> yeah. I have a friend. But obviously, we can't leave witnesses behind. We well, unless we can figure out that he's someone we can leave behind. But we can't let him escape. And he's obviously powered like us. Yeah. 
but we have a lot more guns. What are you doing down here? <laughs> you there. So, so Byron, am I out of this, or do I have to keep going at him? Like, what's your, what's, what, because I'm. Uh, I mean, you're still having a crazy episode. Yeah, so I'm. I so think I'm sort of. Doesn't necessarily mean you have to go at him. You're just having a mental snap. Yeah, so I'm sort of so ranting about right. you know. Yeah, you you know you didn't want any trouble. You shouldn't have touched him that way. Fiend. Um. And so forth. So after you succeed, you can add your dice equal to your presence rating to any social dice. So any like request or persuasion or anything like that allows you to add your persuasion dice or your presence dice to that also. That's how that would mm. work, Dan. Okay. So it doesn't, so it doesn't just allow you to make a request. Nothing's going to allow you to do two things. It's going to. Okay, so that's not going to break. It takes magic to break what he's got on it, right? I'm not going to persuade him out of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you could pers but you can persuade him out of it with. You're, you know what I mean? So he's definitely going to be talking to you and enraptured with you if you pull, if you get that to go off. So if I use entrancement, that counts as like a, a supernatural persuasion that might break him out of it? You can persuade him out of it afterwards, is what I'm saying. Afterwards. So it allows you to do other social things because he's paying attention to you. So then at what point it, it would be up to me as to whether or not he gets there, is what you're saying? Sort of, it gives him a shot. Yeah, or you can yeah. roll yeah. yeah. Okay. So you die. If I okay, so we think it would work. Would it be better to compel him? I don't think I can't compel. I like, don't have that power. He doesn't have that power. <laughs> would he be? Would we be able to compel him out of it? You can't compel him out of it per okay. se. But what you no, can but do we is, can try. But it's the same thing. So you, you now stop him what he's doing, and he's doing what you're telling him. It okay, go ahead with entrancement then. Uh, okay, I can, yes, yes and I, I no. can do something better than entrancement. Okay. Ooh, uh, what can you I'm do? I'm going to cloud his memory so he forgets okay. about the man. Forever. That sounds good. Ooh. So just That's awesome. Now. He'll still see him. He'll, he'll him forget, forget why he's angry at him. Eh, I, don't, I don't think he'll work on that. Oh, oh, I, I, it's at some level it's I have to think failure, that you guys are standing around having this conversation yeah. and it's like it's funny to me yeah, it's, a, it's a bestial failure so I mean it's, yeah. it's designed to be hard to stop yeah, I mean but I'm trying to use a power to stop I still have to roll it's not like I'm just asking to stop it I still have to roll I got it. it so does he mm -hmm. yeah like he gets to roll against my clock the drones are on back order I guess I think that's a slippery. I didn't, slope I didn't know my my one down. my one point dominate was as a drone slippery slope. I think it could be. Okay, then I have nothing. Sets the president. I'm not saying what you're doing won't work in some manner. It's just not going to work. Oh well, uh, like other that. than that, I don't have an option. We, we I mean, so that's my only choice. I, I, I'm just saying, out of character, it's not off the table to just kill this guy. <laughs> I think he might be. So the guy's like running towards you guys. Yeah, I mean, we could we could just fill him full lead, and he's not a problem anymore. I well, could this guy doesn't really seem to be a problem at the moment. He's not making any aggressive actions. It's Father Lucius that's making aggressive actions. Yeah, trying well, to chew the guy up into pieces. Can we just all try to hold him, meaning Father Lucius. Can I drug so him? So the guy's in between you. Well, put okay, put so me in a car trunk. It worked the last time. Get past. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> See? Uh, That's why I'm going to give you the date for it. So time. as all this stuff goes, so like there's this moment. I pivot, I turn, I look at him. He's walking toward my friends. Like, what do I immediately Oh, he's see running. He's, he's just one. <laughs> yeah. <with you. laughs> so should I go ahead and try to use entrancement? That is up to you. Yeah, so I'm gonna try. I mean, as the seconds are flying, I can't tell you what to do. I'm, I can only tell no, you. No, I'm just saying. I, works. So okay, so I, if, if I have an initiative, just let me know. All right, you guys are all threes, so you're like whoever's a three can act. I, if the guy runs past me, I will step up in my poncho with my face mask down. Can I do that? He's not or running no? past you. He's running to you. Okay, I will. I will. I have Cat's Grace going already. I'll move forward okay. to try and get. Uh, between where he's running from and the father, and then I will try and use entrancement. Okay. So it, it would add my persuasion. Uh, so first you have to make the entrancement roll. Okay. So what do and I? And if you're successful, then you can add your presence to your any kind of 
persuading things. It's so still how do my thing turn though? Where do I but click? Charisma to do? is charisma and presence, and then uh, Father Thorn would roll composure and wits. And charisma wanna... roll composure and wits. That's not one of my strong suits. <laughs> That's my oh, yeah. uh, so, I roll. Okay, so tell me how I set this up on the character sheet. I'm trying to under. Do I? Where do I? So just like you did before, but you're going to do presence and charisma. I presence. got one success of. Uh, yeah. So I think you can actually just go to charisma and click the die roller and add whatever else. It, it looks like I've yeah. got three of each. So I'll, I got now. I have discipline, presence, and under attributes, charisma. Yeah, so I think if you go to the die roller on Charisma and click oh. it, it will tell you what to, what do you want to add. Yeah, and you yeah should your second attribute. Presence. Or if you start from Presence. Or if you start from Presence, it should. Yeah, it'll let one. you add Charisma. I think that's yeah. on that All one. All right, let me try starting from there then. Uh, one of those two directions should work. All right, so I'll start, I'm sorry, start from, okay, I started from Presence and then I added Charisma. So that's three and three. So I'll, I'll hit the roll button. All right. Please. Please, Poncho Man. <laughs> there you go. That's good enough. All right. What? So Why he's now see your susceptible role? to your entrancement. So he's paying only attention to you now. He's no longer paying attention to the other guy. Roll for the whole world to see Dan. We want to see rolls. Move yeah. out oh, of the way, Max. Oh, he rolled secretly to you. Oh, did oh, I roll secretly right, to well, me? Yeah. Two, two successes, though. Yeah, yeah. There you go. I don't know if you rolled secretly or not. I just see it on my screen, so. I don't, I, I, I can yeah, tell he didn't mess up. It doesn't, doesn't say secret. How do you make it public? I don't know. The only or maybe we just, do... just hit enter. Put it right on Facebook. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> just take a I, selfie I, I with your roll, please. How to manipulate this thing. So uh, I say to uh, the father, Father, you are doing the right thing. But we should talk about this. Don't, I don't try. Think he's actually the pilfer you think he is. But I think there's one in the next passage. Let's let us let us let us speak. What do you know about him? He hides in the darkness. Look at him. Get yes, out yes. of the way. Look at him. His well coiffed ways. You know, I really, really think though that a man who wears khakis like that couldn't be all bad. Don't you think? Khakis. I mean, he wears the cloth. He touches children. Oh, 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 Out oh. of my way! I, 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 I've, never, a... I've never touched a kid. I never touched a kid. You see, you hear that? I don't think he actually touches children. No, Perhaps no, well, you were mistaken. I, it's just little people. Uh, he's like, he's like, you guys have to. <laughs> I, I, I don't want any trouble. Yes, Byron, you tell I, me. It's just a misunderstanding, Father. <laughs> I, I, of course, I, I understand exactly. You, you did the right thing. You're defending the weak. That is key. But really, he, he's really not a pilfer of children. Yeah. It's just a, it's just a little mistake. I say with my uh, supernatural transmit. <laughs> Go ahead and make some uh, persuasion here. Be, uh, I'm going to say manipulation and persuasion. And what am I resisting that with? And please tell me it's something that I'm bad at so we can get past this. <laughs> oh <my laughs> right? uh, composure resolve. Okay. Uh, resolve Again. And, okay. Uh, resolve yeah. composure. Okay. Okay. Successes yeah. four yeah. of two. Come on, damn, dude. Well done. Um, composure and res I don't know. Can you guys see my I'm rolls yet, or do I need to switch something else on? Uh, I, I still don't see that. I think you have to probably go into settings and do stuff with oh, it. Shit. So, I think it's at the top just of your screen, there's a whisper you roll rolled before, though. Oh, the whisper. Yeah. yeah, at the top of your character Come sheet on. towards the left. There's a whisper roll. Oh, turn that off. Okay, turn it off. Oh, man. One of two again. Yeah. All right. Good deal. So, yeah. You're persuaded by him to kind of stop what you're doing. <sighs> yeah. I, I I think it becomes obvious to everyone that awkwardly is watching that I, I wasn't seeing this guy for even who he is. Because I, as I, I kind of look past Max over his shoulder and just seem completely confused. And then broken it's somehow. Right. I, I put my arm. If, does the, does the father have a problem with being touched? I don't know. Do I know this? It depends, baby. Oh, he really likes it. You want to come to the confessional? And I say, father, you're doing you the right thing. You want to come to the confessional, baby? 
<laughs> uh, I'm a confessional. Yeah, no, Dude, that's, just that's he, like he's absolutely he's no, pretty amazing. He's a I little broken. The, I think the, the uh, session title should be come, come in my box. <laughs> oh god. I think I've just been I think I've just been odd. Yeah, I think it's all the way. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. All right, so what is the rest of you doing with this guy that's like running towards you and just basically he's like, are you stopping him in some manner? He's really oh, oh, fast, yeah. though. I, 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 I literally have my shotgun pointed at him. I'm just like, he this. gets to you faster than you could bring the shotgun up because he has like some shit ton of celerity going on right now. So is he is he running down the hallway? He's he's it's only like I mean. Oh. It's, it's not that far. You it's know more like I mean? he stops at yeah, them is, for is, protection, is he, is he right? Yeah, he like, stops at you for, like, protection. Okay, he stops, stops at you. Okay. Victor, where, where, where what, are you what are you doing, doing down, down, here? down here? He's like, oh, oh I, I, I came down here a few days ago, uh, but uh, I, uh, unfortunately it was a couple nights and the station wasn't closed yet, but uh, I, I can't seem to get out. You know, there's 24-7 there's police all over the damn place. Uh can I, I check for lies? They think I'm some sort of terrorist or something. Yeah, and I want to incite this. Yeah. yeah. Before we show him the way out, I want to see if he's alive. So Lady Catherine already had to deck lies going. Yeah, and what was it's uh He's not lying. Oh, oh he's still not lying. His, he's still not even lying. the like days thing. That he has been down here for a few days. Mm-hmm. He's like, I'm really, I'm really hungry. You all wouldn't happen to have a snack, would you? <sighs> what do you a like snack to for eat? A guy with clarity? <laughs> I would throw him a bag. Um, <laughs> he says, "Oh, thank you." <laughs> and he tears into it <laughs> pretty aggressively, uh, and just blood pouring down. Wow, face. father, he could really use that Capri sure. Sun. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you're getting that all over your clothing. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, oh, here. Yes. Wet nap. Bit of a, uh, oh, oh, I was really hungry. Yeah. 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 So, uh, Take two. What, have Have you seen anywhere anyone else down here? Not you're yet. the first one we've seen so far. Uh, how did you find your way down here? You said something about an ad on a. Trash yeah, bin or a, something like that. It was, it was a, it was kind of obscure. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm normally not that type of person that really follows some sort of nonsensical stuff. But I, I'm kind of in a rough spot with, with, with mm. one of the friends, and well, I, I saw an ad for Lonely Persons Club in the underground, and well, the thing is, of, I've, I've been walking around here for nights, but I haven't seen any club or, or, or any, any other people. Did you happen to bring the ad with you? Oh, yeah, as a matter of fact. And he kind of reaches into his pocket and pulls it out. He's got blood all over his hand, so it's like all smeared oh. up and stuff. I try again to hand him a wet nap. <laughs> a wet nap ain't yeah. doing that. <laughs> Here, take, take the whole pack. Um, yeah, I'll take uh, like two fingers and he takes to... He takes the whole pack and like rips it open. He's in my like, Leatherman uh, tweezers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna raise a pack yeah. of wet naps off your inventory. Yeah, let's open this and see what it says. It's just an ad. It says it says London under under. Is it for a flyer or from a newspaper or it's what? Like a flyer. Is it like a, sort of flyer. like one of those underground kind of flyers, sort of like yeah. subculture? -y? Okay. Very much so. Do we recognize any like symbols on it or anything like that? Hmm. You see, like a uh, like a little symbol that looks like it's marked in some way towards a uh, game vampire society style thing. So okay. it's a it's a, a Nosferatu symbol. You've seen it before in mm. Nigel's. Mm. Uh, Nigel's coming and going. You're fine. Does does it indicate anything about a direction or like a location? It doesn't. Hmm. How did you find your way? No, you said you found your way down before they locked things up. How long is this uh, under uh, construction? Oh, they've been, they've been working on this for a few months now, <laughs> but with all the with all the terrorist things going on in the city, uh, you know, it's uh, I was afraid that they would just arrest me, and well, I can't have that. Can you not compel? Compel? No, I have no powers of compelling. I'm, I'm quite quick, but past that, not much. 
Can we tell? What, what do you know of down here? Yeah. It's dark. It's lonely. I feel like I've have, missed my love. Do you have like a setup where you're living? Or like where you've remained hidden? For well, a yeah, I stay up. I stay up top. I don't. What's his name again? Here. Victor. I Victor, thought you've yeah. been down here for lost down here for days. I haven't really slept. Just kind of curled up on the tracks, you know. There's a there's a maintenance locker about maybe a, a, a quarter of a mile or so back. I think I don't. It's really hard to tell in the dark how far you've traveled, but it was back that way. I, I, I think. And you've seen no one, yet you've been lurking around in the shadows like a rat. Covered in blood. Well, I wasn't covered blood? in blood. I only had a bit. Well, Victor, you got a little something like right yeah. there. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. Right he's here. covered now, but he looked really now. nice and clean ahead of time. He was what? clean except for some blood on his shoes. What happened to your shoes? In, in his pockets with, uh, you know, on that flyer. Yeah. How did in you get that pocket, blood on man. you? Oh, I think it was just, from his hand. He just ate a blood bag. Well, but so not his shoes. Out, when we, his we, yeah. Bag. It's all over. Where did the blood from your shoe on your shoes come from? That was a very unfortunate woman. I fed on her before I came down here. I glance at Alice, knowing that she's probably, I could probably tell from her body language that she's being kind of analytical. Or how is she reading him? Is he? Does he seem to be telling the truth with that? Yeah. Hmm. How is it, uh, is the world's it. dumbest vampire? Is that what you're telling us? <laughs> <laughs> He's a dumpire. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Can we tell, like, what uh, generation he is, or? Uh, oh, I can if I taste him. You would think that he he doesn't really claim to have that many powers, so you would you would assume that he would be younger. Mm -hmm. um, How old are you? Well, well, I was I was I was twenty six when I was turned. <laughs> Interview with a dumb player. <laughs> um, when were you turned? How? Who turned you? Do you know any of that information? Yeah, who are you loyal to? <laughs> oh, my loyalty. Well, who's your sire? Well, I'm the Toyador. Uh, I don't. Do you know of Rain? Rain? Yeah. Yes, we do know Rain. Yes. No uh, way. Um, my my sire's passed, but she's given me guidance occasionally. <laughs> so he, your your sire was killed, and Rain is has kind of become your protector. Don't you have that picture with Rain? Uh, yeah, I Lady do. Catherine? Yeah, I'll show you a picture protector, per se. But who was your yeah. sire? Uh, his name was Ambrose. What happened? He died. Well, you he said got that on the wrong <laughs> side. He got on the wrong side of the prince. Ah. Uh, mm. And well, how long have you been a vampire? Since I was 26, I'm and afraid I don't really well, keep much track of time. Uh, what year was it? Was, all we all know what year we were. All you fashionistas. 2010. <laughs> Never keeping good details. Oh, oh my goodness! A new, a new, you're just a little baby. How does oh, how does he? A little guy. When uh, when Lady Catherine flashes the selfie with Rain, how does he react to that? Is he like, oh yes, or is he like, no, nah, it's a different Rain? Yeah, he, he knows who it is. So immediately he's going to be like, oh, shit, we're friends because it's a happy yeah, selfie. Right? Yeah, he's like, he's like, oh, well, I know that if you know her, do, could you could you tell me how to get out of here? Is there, is there a chance? Have you gotten in here? When, when did you come down? Is 15 minutes ago sound appropriate? Oh, that would be fantastic. Is there, is there, is there still a way out? <laughs> Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, I mean, it's, like, it's probably it's, it's probably pretty right busy there. now, so you might need to wait. I'm gonna use my phone to take a picture of that flyer. Okay. Uh, He'll I give mean, you the flyer. I'm gonna take a picture of him. Yeah. The guards should be coming back now, so no, it would be probably a terrible time to leave. 
in a few uh, in a day or so. I, I, I don't really want to be alone. Uh, can can I travel with you all? As long as you make use of yourself. I sort of give Akila this look. This like I'm completely not trusting this guy. I'm still uh, I give weirded you the out. Same look, but I say the opposite. Yeah, totally. As long as you put in some work as much as the rest of us. You've been down I'll here try. this long, within this proximity to the exit, and you've not seen anything at all? Well, no, I just came... It's very hard to see in the dark. I did not bring a mm-hmm. flashlight or anything. Uh, I'm afraid I wasn't really... I, I wasn't really thoughtful. He's yeah. only been a vampire I, I since know, Bad Romance was in the I, top ten. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I do know that... Uh, I, I will say that... <coughs> I, 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 that I believe that I heard or saw... Well, I can't really say I saw it, but something moving in the darkness on the walls. Oh, do tell. Probably. In the underground? Uh, yes, you, a vampire, yes. saw yes, another day creature. Or so. Well, I didn't see it. Like I said, I I, I don't well, have the ability to see in the dark, which is why I was attracted to your lights. Something like rats, for, for instance? This was much larger than a rat. Okay. But you didn't Byron, see Byron would, would using a taste for blood here reveal anything interesting is there any possibility of that East for blood it's blood perhaps splatter, we just it? point him to the exit and let him go Jason or do we keep him yes, we me, me I shield. wonder if he's going to be more of a hindrance than a help because he's yeah he's, I mean he's fast but he also seems he's a Tory door he's a pretentious little crabby. yeah but is he yeah. going to tell on us we should keep him close. That's just because. Uh, yeah. So a critical would would reveal some information like his his generation. Go Tara, go Tara. Do it, do it. And if he had ever committed diablery, hmm. you already know he's a supernatural creature. Right. I could have told you that from his vest. <laughs> <laughs> also, that hair. Yeah, in the gelled up hair. I yeah, picture like he a. Looks just like J- Jason Bateman out of American Psycho. Oh, right. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> no, that's why he's giving me the creeps. Yeah. I mean, I I just want to do useful things, guys. I don't. Do no, it. No, do it. Do it. Okay, we... so. Just don't get a bestial failure, please. <laughs> yeah. So resolve plus blood sorcery, right? Yeah. yeah. Occurred to find out anything you don't already know. No. Nope. Oh my God. That's still a success. Is That's it? That's a lot of dice, though. Yeah, because you only one need one die. So it's a critical success to get more information. Okay. One is all you need to succeed. <laughs> you somehow didn't fail that roll. I succeeded and yet failed all at the same time. Yeah. yeah you well, I mean, you know that he's so a vampire. You already knew that, you know. Uh, you notice his his resonance. Uh, it appears like he has a lingering thing of. Uh, you can taste that he has a lingering. Uh, he's had some ecstasy at some point in the system, probably from whoever he fed on, with the blood on his shoes. Okay. He's, he's a Toreador, so he could have came from a club scene. You know, what I mean, he's looking for a club scene. Mm, rah, 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 none of that would be. <laughs> none of that would be out of uh, out of the norm. I want to set this up. I, I should have set this up better, but I was, I, I, I intended to do that with his consent. I don't know if I wound up doing that or not, but that was my intention. I would say, yeah. Just a taste. Like you just need a, a little prick of his finger, prick of his blood. You could just use, right. your, use your nail yeah, for that matter. Get out a diabetic meter and just think. I'm absolutely going <laughs> to use my dad. I need to check your glucose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, okay. he, you know, he's he's willing to make some sacrifices to uh, to hang out with you guys. Yeah, that's what I thought. He's, he doesn't really want to be alone. He's a very frenzy kind of guy. So you can tell he's feeling a little disappointed that his friends are. He's kind of on the outs with them. He's lonely. He's been down here for a couple of days. So, okay, let's 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 let him tag along. So the coterie grows, eh? I pat him on the I pat him on the back, but with this 
look as if to, I'm still convinced that deep within him is is like my my mortal enemy in some way. I don't know. We've been up here. We've been we've been uh, topside in in this modern age long enough for me to know. Father, you need therapy. <laughs> I, I got news house. We all need therapy. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, well, I'm perfectly fine. Unfo <laughs> unfortunately, my the church benefits were discontinued after it was believed that I was dead, and so now I only have public health care, and the co-pays are murder. <laughs> not to mention no one's in network. Yeah, not for sure. Everybody Hello. give me a wits and awareness. I'm not rolling Everyone? anything else for you, Byron. I know, we're, we're not doing so hot. <laughs> I'm just not. <laughs> You guys just like me, Steel Fairy. Foul successes. All right. I'm going to click very softly. Where is awareness? It's in skills. Suck. You have to do awareness first. Yep, do awareness. And then you have to do... It's not alphabetical, is it? Oh, uh, there it is. No, no it's wits. on the right side. No. They're actually set up beyond what you would think. So, like, What's the, the difficulty? Yeah, crazy enough, if you follow the physical down... It applies it's physical, to physical. physical. What's Ooh, the difficulty? Two successes. Same. That's yes. amazing. Oh, wow. I actually did something. Two of Yay. two. Oh, man. I'm the only one who failed. Oh, you uh, didn't well, teach successes. anyone. You didn't. You, you, you all kind of failed, believe it or not, because it's more than two successes. But, oh. I got four. We have six yeah. all together. No. Well, we yeah, we are failures. all partially we aware of the situation. Yeah. 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 Can we just complete okay. each Is other's sentence? Something? I think so as that you're, this... as you're walking forward, as you're walking forward, uh, you hear like something, the rocks just kind of scatter and like some of them fly up in the air. You kind of get pelted by some of them as something comes down off the wall and it kind of comes down on all fours and uh, it's wearing... It's hunched over in ragged jeans with large canines protruding from its lips. It's only a few feet away from you. Is it, how was this away from the scene where we met the guy, Byron? Have we been walking a while? No, you haven't really walked. It's just far. right there. It looks like maybe okay. this thing was following him. You would think. I gotcha. Mm -hmm. Um, it looks like some sort of feral vampire that has lost all touch with reality. Mm. Luckily, I had that shotgun out from earlier. So yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see here. Yo, what's up? Yep. So it this squats is down like stop? it squats down like a dog and growls like a feral beast. Its hair and beard have become matted and tangled, covered in dirt, dried blood, and soot. Ugh. And <laughs> the Toreador fucking books. <laughs> it's like out of here. It's not even staying around for this. Collectively roll our eyes. Yeah. He, he's got a five, <laughs> five dots of celerity. He's the fuck out of here, dude. He's like, <laughs> easy he's come, out. easy go. Yep. So he 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 runs down the. You can hear him in the concrete, like he shoots, just like scratching that thing. I sniff. And is that urine. And and it is twelve a.m. So this is a good place to stop for tonight. Oh. Place to stop. oh.